Welcome to Movies Explained, today I will tell you about one of my favorite movies called Apocalypto, so sit back, relax and enjoy. Also thank you to all who have subscribed so far, I look forward to bringing you more content. While hunting in the Mesoamerican rainforest, Jaguar Pa, his father Flint Sky and their fellow tribesmen encounter a procession of refugees fleeing warfare. The group's leader explains that their lands were ravaged and they seek a new beginning. He asks for permission to pass through the jungle. Flint Sky comments to his son that the visitors were sick with fear and urges him to never allow fear to infect him. Later that night, the tribe gather around an elder, who shares a story that cryptically foreshadows the events of the film. An individual who is consumed by an emptiness that cannot be satisfied despite having all the gifts of the world offered to him will continue blindly taking until there is nothing left in the world for him to take and the world is no more. At sunrise the next morning, the tribe's village suffers a raid led by Zero Wolf. Huts are set on fire, many villagers are killed, and the surviving adults are taken prisoner. During the attack, Jaguar Pa lowers his pregnant wife Seven and their young son, Turtles run into a pit. Returning to the fight, Jaguar Pa nearly kills the sadistic raider Middle Eye, but is captured. When Middle Eye realizes that Flint Sky is Jaguar Pa's father, he kills Flint Sky and mockingly renames Jaguar Pa almost. The raiders tie the captives together and set out on a long forced march through the jungle, leaving the children behind to fend for themselves. Seven and Turtles Run remain trapped in the pit after a suspicious raider cuts, the vine leading out of it. On the journey, Coco Leaf, a badly wounded captive, almost falls off a cliff with the other captives, dragged after him. After climbing back to safety, he is killed by Middle Eye, eliciting anger from Zero Wolf, who threatens his fellow raider with death if he kills another captive without permission. As the party approaches the Mayan city of the raiders' origin, they encounter raised forests and vast fields of failed maize crops alongside villages decimated by an unknown disease. They then pass a little girl infected with the plague who prophesies the end of the Mayan world. Once the raiders and captives reach the city, the females are sold into slavery while the males are escorted to the top of a steppe pyramid to be sacrificed before the Mayan king and queen. Two members of the party are sacrificed, but as Jaguar Pa is laid out on the altar, a solar eclipse gives the high priest who is performing the sacrifices by cutting out the captives' hearts, pause. The Mayans take the event as an omen that the gods are satisfied, even though a glance shared between the high priest and the king implies that the true purpose behind the sacrifices is that they are a political tool wielded by the elite to pacify the unsuspecting and fearful masses who are suffering from famine, disease, and poverty. Nevertheless, the ritual ceremony comes to an end and the remaining captives are spared. They are then taken by the raiders to be used as target practice and offered freedom if they can run to safety. Jaguar Pa suffers an arrow wound, but escapes into the jungle, killing Zero Wolf's son Cut Rock in the process. Zero Wolf, Middle Eye, and seven others chase after him. Fleeing back into the jungle, Jaguar Pa remembers his father's lesson about fear and resolves to kill his pursuers. The raiders are killed off one by one, including Zero Wolf and Middle Eye either by traps laid out by Jaguar Pa or natural hazards until there are only two left. The drought breaks and heavy rain begins to fall, threatening to drown Jaguar Pa's family, who are still trapped in the pit, despite their attempts to escape. Seven gives birth to another son, who is born under the surface of the dangerously rising water. Meanwhile, the two remaining raiders chase Jaguar Pa out of the undergrowth towards the coast. As they come to the beach all three are suddenly halted in their tracks and stare in awe at something before them. It's revealed the Spanish and their ships have arrived at the New World as the conquistadors make their way to the shore. Jaguar Pa turns and flees while the raiders stand confounded by the alien invaders. Jaguar Pa returns just in time to save his family from the flooding pit and is overjoyed at the sight of his newborn son. Later, the reunited family looks out over the water at the Spanish ships. Jaguar Pa decides not to approach the strangers and the family departs into the jungle to seek a new beginning.
Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos here. See you later.